Hello folks, Abfielder here with another Minecraft tutorial video and today we're looking at the Tweakaroo Tweak Placement Grid. If you need to know how to install Tweakaroo or Fabric, the link will be in the top right hand corner right now. Assuming you've got that installed, then what I'm going to do is show you how to set up the Tweak and also I'm going to show you a couple of usage scenarios for it. So X plus C opens your config menu. Go into tweak hotkeys. You could also just turn this on and off in tweak toggles, but go to tweak hotkeys and then you can start to search for placement and it's the placement grid. Now I'm just going to reset that because this is how it will look to you if you haven't set up a key. Click on it, then set your hotkey and then click in a blank bit of space. The reset button will be lit up. That's how you know it's done. Just hit escape a couple of times. Right, we're going to go down here and go away from the sandstone because this will make it a little bit easier. If you hit that hotkey, when you turn it on, it will tell you what the grid interval is set to. Now, if you want to change the grid interval, then what you need to do is hold down the hotkey and then just use your mouse wheel while you're holding down the hotkey that you've set to change it to whatever you want. Now, I'm going to set it to two because I'm going to show you how to do this checkboard pattern. So I'm also going to use this in conjunction with another tweak. So if I hold down, go over here so you can see it. If I hold down that tweak, I'm using the fast block placement mode. Now, if you need to know how to use that, link will be in the top right hand corner. Turn on the fast block placement mode. I've got it in layer mode. I've got placement grid turned on. So I click and hold. And then as I click and hold, it skips every other block because I've got it set to every two. And then if I go over here, it will do it like that. Now, as you can see, I'm still missing that row in between because of how this works. So if I wanted to go back and do that one now, I would click and hold here, like so. And we'll go all the way up and then we'll go across like this. Okay, and then all I wanna do is fill in the gaps. You can see how much quicker this is than placing it manually. So I'd actually, at this point, I would turn off placement grid and just leave that fast block placement on. There we go on the layer mode. So if I click and hold now, I can just fill in all those gaps. It's not going to skip any because placement grid's turned off. And there you go. Nice quick way to do this checkboard effect. The other scenario that I would use this in, and I haven't found a little bit of a bug when I was doing this before. We'll see if this occurs again. But if I wanted to place redstone torches perfectly for this, this rail, what I could do is set this to, I know what the gap size is for this. If I turn it to 17, Run down here. Yeah, this is what it did before. So the way I fixed this before was I went back to this. If this happens to you, set this back down to, to two. I don't know why it's doing this. And then, oops, turn it on. Let's see if we can get this working again. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a weird bug. It seems to do what it wants. Not entirely sure why. That's, uh, this is very strange. This is exactly what it did to me before. There we go. Working again now. Okay. So once you've got it working, you don't always get this bug, but once you get it working, set it to your 17. Let's hope this works this time. There we go. And what this should do now is perfectly place these torches 17 blocks apart so just have you just have to have a little bit of a fiddle around if you hit that bug i hit that in my earlier testing videos as well and like i say the best way around that seems to be switch back to a normal block change the uh, the interval back down to something lower once it's working again you can switch to those torches so a little bit fiddly but that's you know, I don't want to skip that because that's how it might happen to you and people will always ask down in the comments this is what's happening to me how do i fix it Folks, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Anyway, folks, that's all I've got time for today. I'm Ab Fielder. Goodbye.